वट इज गोइंग ऑन गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ शॉर्ट्स एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड द प्रोफाइल स्क्रीन वेर वी कैन गो टू द प्रोफाइल वी हैव प्रोफाइल पिक्चर यूजर नेम लॉग आउट बटन फॉलोइंग काउंट फॉलोअर काउंट एंड द पोस्ट काउंट सो वी कैन क्लिक ऑन लॉग आउट एंड वी विल बी लॉग आउट सो इन दिस वीडियो वट वी विल डू इफ यू क्लिक ऑन अदर यूजर ओवर हियर वी विल गो टू द सेम प्रोफाइल स्क्रीन बट वी विल हैव फॉलो एंड ऑन फॉलो बटन एंड ऑल्सो वील इम्प्लीमेंट हाउ टू अपलोड द प्रोफाइल पिक्चर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड first we will do the profile picture thing how we will upload the profile picture so let's go to profile activity in the same way we are uploading the video and video upload activity we will do the same for profile picture as well so what we will do so let's copy this launcher and paste it over here let's minimize this function for now here we will paste the launcher it will be photo launcher so we have the launcher we'll initialize this launcher in on create method launcher in on create method so it will be photo launcher register activity result code okay if result is there we will do something upload photo and whenever user click on this they should go to file manager and should pick the photo so in the same way we are doing for video but we should pick photo if only this profile is our profile that means if profile user id is equal to current user id that means current user profile we will pick the profile picture so here what we'll do binding dot profile dot set on click listener so whenever user clicks we'll use check permission and pick photo so this method will create over here check permission and pick photo same way we were doing for video over here check permission and open video picker i'll copy the same thing from video picker and paste it over here here what we will do instead of this manifest permission dot read media video i will do read media images as well as go to manifest we have this video permission let's duplicate it and write here images so in this way we will get images permission same way we will ask we can refactor it as read external photo so it will be if permission is granted we will open photo picker so in this way we will open the photo picker let's copy the method also that is open video picker here we'll paste it and instead of video we will use image and video launcher will be photo launcher the method will be open photo picker so this will do the same thing whenever we click on this profile icon it will ask for permission if permission is there it will pick the photo so let's run and test so i have this photo that is a captain i'll copy this in the android emulator so if you go over here you can see this photo so i will upload this as a profile picture so let's run the application profile click over here it will ask permission click so we have all the photos you can click over here and we can select that but on selection we are not doing anything so let's get back photo permission and photo picking is working fine so whenever we get the photo over here we will upload the photo we have this method over here let's minimize this so we'll upload the photo so for uploading we'll do the same thing let's go to video upload and here whenever we'll get the video we are first posting it to firebase cloud storage and then we are posting it to firebase firestore so i will do the same thing here also so i'll copy this and let's create a method first here fun upload to firestore here i will pass from here i will call this and i will pass result dot data dot data so if we get so here we will add photo uri uri import this so from here we can pass as not null so if result is okay we will get the photo so here what we will do we will create a photo reference that will be in let's go to storage so here we have the folder videos we'll create another folder that would be profile so it will be profile pic and instead of this we'll pass the user id so for every profile photo it will be unique user id of the user who is the user that is current user id so it will create a folder of profile pic it will get the user id of current user id and in that photo reference we'll put the file that will be photo uri and we'll post it to firestore now here we will get the url of the photo so whatever photo we are uploading we will get the url now we have to update it to firestore so i will create a function post to firestore download url download url will be url 
let's say string and here we will post it to firestore so how we will do that firebase dot firestore dot collection of users in that we will have the document of user id current user id in that we will update what we will update we will update profile pic with the url so we will update the profile pic field of the user model if you go to user model we have this field that is profile picture that is empty as of now so we will update this profile pic with the url that we get from this storage in this way we will assign the url to our profile picture so whenever we are success what we will do we will again load the view so the view will be loaded here what we will do first here in upload to firestore binding dot progress bar will be again visible and here we will set the ui with the new data so it will get the new data and set the ui let's run and test either it is working or not so let's go to profile let's click on since this is my profile we can click over here so if i click if i select photo you can see the progress bar that means it is uploading let's see progress bar is gone that means we have uploaded successfully let's go and check over here so we have the profile pic we have the user id with that photo over here let's go to fire store database if you go to users and here also we have the profile pic url but we have not got the profile picture over here let's see what is happening so once it is success we are calling set ui if you maximize this here we can see we are binding the profile picture in this profile picture from this profile user model this is the old user model since we have not get again user data this is the old user model so what we will do instead of set ui we will call get profile data from firebase so here we have the function it will get the latest data and then it will automatically set the ui so what we will do instead of set ui get profile data from firebase if you run this go to profile now you can see the profile but it is not circular so for glide we have the method in glide dot circle crop so if you reload again you can see the profile picture over here if you go back here also you can see the profile pic so we have successfully worked on profile picture and it is working fine let's now implement whenever the user click on this it should go to the profile and then we can follow and unfollow the user so for that i will create a new account so let's log out from here let's click on don't have account here i will create ironman at gmail.com password will be same let's create an account so here ironman account is created if i go to profile you can see over here user zero post zero follower zero following and profile picture is not there so we have the videos of captain that are uploaded by captain now if we click on this it should go to the captain user and show the user profile of the captain that we will implement in this video so let's get back here what we will do we'll go to adapter video list adapter here we are binding the view so here so here we are binding the profile picture as well as we are binding the username we'll go to video item raw binding and let's give id to these items that is full row that will be user detail layout we can give the name user detail layout so that here so once we get the data here what we can do binding dot user detail layout dot set on click listener so from here we can go to profile activity let's go to main activity and copy these all three lines so that we can pass go over here it will be from binding dot user detail layout dot context and here from this context we will start the activity so binding dot user details layout dot context will start the activity and it will be profile user id and it will take the user id of the profile not current user that means whoever the user is so here we can see we have username we have profile picture as well as we have id in user model we have all the values so if you go to user model you can see over here id so this is the user id so from here we will pass the user id of the captain user means whoever the user is in this way whenever we click on this it should go to that activity so let's run and test now let's click over here 
we are in the activity we have the photo we have the username and we have the post there is no logout button because this is other user profile i am logged in as iron man here it should be follow or unfollow button and also if we click over here it won't work because we can't update the profile picture of other user so let's go and implement follow unfollow let's go to profile activity minimize this so here we are checking either it is current user profile or other user profile if it is other user profile we will set the button text as follow and on click of that button text profile button dot set on click listener will create a method that will be follow or unfollow user user so whenever we click on this button when it is other user profile and whenever we click on this it should either follow or unfollow so we'll create a method over here follow unfollow user so here first we will check either we are following or not so for that what we can do so to check the follow and unfollow let's go to users here we can see we have follower list we have following list if the other users follower list has the list of users so in this follower list it should be list of user ids if that contains my user id that means if if his follower contains my user id that means i am following if it doesn't contains that means i am not following so for that we need profile user model as well as current user model so we already have profile user model we will get current user model as well over here what we will do in the same way we are getting the profile user model if you see over here get profile data from firebase so we can copy this and paste over here we will go to the collection of user document will be current user id and here we will assign it to current user model so it will get the current user model from current user id to check whether i am following or not so once we get the current user model we will just check over here if profile user model dot follower list dot contains my user id if the profile user model follower list contains my user id that means i am following so what i will do profile user model dot follower list dot remove current user id means we will unfollow here unfollow user also from my user following list i will remove so current user model dot following list dot remove profile user id so from his user follower list i will remove my user id and from my following list i will remove his user id in this way we will unfollow and we'll give the binding dot profile button dot text equals to it should be follow button else we have to follow the user it means we are not following then we have to follow the user so what we will do profile user model dot follower list dot add current user id in current user model dot following list dot add profile user id so it should add in his follower list and in our following list and binding dot profile button dot text will be on follow and once it is done we have to update it to the fire store as well so for that i will create another method update user data it will take model whoever the user model is so it will help us to update the user data so here what i will do whenever i do something i will call from here update user data that will be profile user model as well as i will update current user model i will update both because i have changed the both follower list and following list so here simply what we will do firebase dot fire store dot collection of users dot document document will be model dot id dot set model dot add on success listener now once it is done once it is done we will again set the ui for that we will do get profile data from firebase so in this way whenever we click on follow on follow user we will update the user data so let's run and test if i go to captain user we have the follow button since we have not followed let's follow and you can see over here it has increased the follower if you go and check in the firebase users so here in follower list my id has been added in my following list his id has been added so in this way follow and unfollow will work if i click on unfollow it will be unfollowed if i click on follow if i go back again go to captain we have already followed him but here it is again saying follow so this should not happen so for that what we will do whenever we are getting the profile data from firebase we are setting the ui so here also one more thing what we will do after username if profile user model dot follower list dot contains current user id then we will set binding dot profile button dot text equals to if it already contains that it will be on follow now let's run and test again go to captain profile so we are already following that's why it is on follow if i go to my profile 
I have one following that means I am following captain and I have zero follower and zero post. So in this way updating profile picture as well as following and follower are working fine. In next video we will show all the post over here. If you go to captain profile here you can see two videos are there. So it will show all the videos over here in the recycler view. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries please comment below. I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you in the next video. Bye bye.